Why would an innocent and good-looking 21-year-old Confederate man weighing barely 100 pounds be called the most dangerous man in Arkansas? The exploits of Howell A. Doc Rayburn are a legacy of fact and legend. Doc was a Civil War guerrilla chieftain who operated in the area between West Point, White County, and Des Arc, Prairie County. He enlisted in the Confederate Army in October 1861, joining Company C, 12th Texas Cavalry. From the small northern Arkansas town of Des Arc, Doc recruited dozens of local youth in a guerrilla band that became known as the Phantom Unit. They gained a reputation for their daring exploits and ability to appear out of nowhere to pounce on unsuspecting Yankees. For two years, Rayburn and his band proved to be quite a nuisance to Union military authorities with his attacks. In one such attack near West Point, Rayburn's boys put on Union uniforms and took their enemy by surprise. His guerrilla attacks on Union outposts and expositions tied up countless federal assets that could have been used elsewhere. The Yankees tried several times to capture Rayburn, but were unsuccessful. The most famous story of Rayburn's exploit centers around activities at Duval's Bluff, Prairie County, in December 1864. He told his men that if he could make it through a Union picket line that evening, he would be their Santa Claus. With his diminutive stature, long blonde hair, and blue eyes, he knew he could pass himself off as a female. Borrowing a lady's clothing, Rayburn made it through the picket line to a Christmas dance hosted by Federals. After an evening of dancing with Yankee officers, he carefully made his way to the corral. He jumped on the best horse in the corral and caused a stampede. That year, he and every man in his command received a horse for Christmas. Produced by UltimateFlags.com